Hey folks, welcome to another episode of JR's Lab. Today on the desk we have the uh, Sierra MG90. This is, they term it the vehicle multi-networking router. You can see awful lot of interfaces. Let's just get that cable out of the way. Awful lot of interfaces on the back. You've got antennas connected right now for um, LTE. Uh, there are also um, connectors here for uh, 802.11ac Wi-Fi. And um, this features two LTE modems, so dual LTE modems and four SIMs. So you can have up to four different carrier accounts on there. Um, very flexible. Uh, also has inputs for various um, other sensing um, tools like OBD2. So you can get vehicle telemetry live over the network. Um, it will load balance. It has policy-based routing. So very flexible device. Street price is around about $2,000. Um, we've got this one powered up. SIM slots are at the front. Obviously, we said there's four available. This one has the um, EM7511 Sierra module inside, which that gives the first net and also the, uh, the band 48 capability. So let's take a look at the interface and see uh, how we get this online. Let's log in using the default credentials and we'll take a look at the status page. Great, looks like we've already established a connection and the extended status option will show us more details. Remember, we haven't added any special configuration to the gateway. It's in factory default and all we've done so far is insert a Salona SIM. Now we're on the extended status page, you'll see the IP address information under link info. Cellular info provides all the details of our wireless link. You can see the network type is LTE and we're using CBRS band number 48. Now we've confirmed the connection is active, let's run a test using nperf.com. The network supports carrier aggregation on download, so we should see download speeds over 150 megabits per second. There we go. Now we can see an active carrier aggregation on that downlink. We're using config2 for uplink downlink, which is weighted more heavily to the downlink speed. You'll see we're achieving a solid five megabits per second uplink. That's actually limited by my Comcast connection here. Um, pretty shortly I'll have AT&T fiber, so that'll go away. And there you go the Sierra MG90 gateway. Will it connect? Absolutely. There was no special configuration required. All we had to do is insert a Salona SIM. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can use the comments section below or reach out to me on Twitter. The handle is at Rollinson. Watch out for our next video on the Sierra MG90 where we'll be showing you how to connect four IP cameras and load balance across multiple links. <laughs>